the state television campaign of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Western Armenia does not give up and continue to struggle on a legal basis. Armenak Abrahamian. The 12th Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The Hamidian regime is the founder of the denial of main thesis of genocide. An important visit to Armenia after the EU USA Armenian high level event. George Jean Kupman. News from Javak. A dance flash mode at the Yerevan State Institute of Theatre and Cinema. Western Armenia does not give up and continues to struggle on a legal basis, said Armena Gabrahamian, the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia. Many people ask me who stands behind you, and I answer, I have two million victims stand behind me. This is how Armena Gabrahamian, the first president of Western Armenia, described the force that pushed him forward. On April 27, a commemoration ceremony for the victims of the genocide against Armenians was held in the territory of Cizerna Gabbard Memorial Complex, after which the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia held a briefing with the correspondent of Western Armenia TV and presented his predictions regarding the events taking place in the region and emphasized that all these events are related to the Republic of Western Armenia. The video is available on YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. On April 29, the 12 Council of Ministers of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. The session was chaired by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan. During the session, the general situation of the Government of Western Armenia was discussed. The members of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia presented with speeches, where they introduced the activities done during the commemoration ceremonies on the 109th anniversary of the genocide against the Armenians. Events were held in Geneva, Mandelio de la Napol, Leon Buenos Aires, Montebello, Montevideo, and Yerevan. In Uruguay, the Consul of Western Armenia, Dr. Pablo Tailanian, emphasized that the event was attended by the President of Uruguay, Luis Lasajepu, Minister of Foreign Affairs Omar Paganini, and Secretary of Foreign Affairs of Uruguay, Nicolas Albertoni, a number of other ministers and parliamentarians, political and public figures as well. In Los Angeles, the Consul of Western Armenia, Armand Grikoyan, in his speech said that he visited the memorial complex for the victims of the genocide against the Armenians in Montebello, California, USA, where they paid tribute to the memory of the victims of the genocide against the Armenians. During the government session was also discussed the commemoration ceremony held on April 27 at the Zizerna Gabert Memorial Complex. The denial of the genocide committed against the Armenians in its form and multi-layered nature has often served as an example for the development and implementation of denial policies for other subsequent genocides. As Professor of Sociology Stelny Cohen points out, the most obvious attempt to hide the effect of past crimes is the attempt of the Turkish government. These events are recorded both in Ottoman sources, diplomatic reports of the time, testimonies of survivors, and later in historical research. Truths that were once evident and in force of the internet and community have been transformed into speculation, rumor, and uncertainty. Pre-existing denial became part of Turkish collective culture and then gradually became more prevalent abroad. The denial of the genocide against the Armenians has always been a component of the Turkish authorities' domestic and foreign policy. Turkish governments have always relied on the use of violence as the most effective means of solving internal problems, which in turn has given rise to additional concerns. First, there was the possibility of potential resistance, self-defense, or struggle for freedom from repression by those who were subjected to violence. On the other hand, there has always been the fear of possible intervention by the outside world or the use of coercion to carry out reforms in the country. From time to time, there was also the fear of losing territories to external pressures. An important visit to Armenia after the EU-USA Armenian high-level event, Gerd Jean Gupman. An important visit to Armenia after the AUUS Armenian High Level event held on April 5. Gerd Jan Kupman, Director General of the European Commission for Neighborhood and Enlargement Negotiations, wrote about this in his X Microbot. I expect to discuss the priorities of closer cooperation between Europe and Armenia at the meeting with a number of representatives of Armenia, identify opportunities for stability and growth within the framework of our new program, said the official. 40 civilians cameras will be installed in Javak. New cameras will appear not only in Javak but also in villages. In order to ensure security, the municipality of Javak announced an electronic tender worth 24,000 zero GL for the purchase and installation of 40 cameras. The tender for purchase and installation was announced on April 8 and ended on April 16. The cameras must be installed within 40 calendar days of signing the contract. 
the potato sowing season has started in Java. Some farmers, due to the um, successful sale of last year's crop, have reduced their potato fields this year. Enoch Babajanya from Murjagert village reduced his photo planting by, by one hectare. In 2023, 10,918 hectares of potatoes were sown in Java, and 2023,148 tons of crops were obtained. In 2023, compared to 2022, the potato sowing rate is increased. In data on how these uh, statistics will change in 2024 will only be collected at the end of the year or early 2025. The holiday was celebrated with the dance flash mob at the Yerevan State Institute of Theatre and Cinema. The initiative belongs to the chair of choreography. The dance flash mode was dedicated to the vivid memory of Gagi Ginosyan, a teacher of the founder and artistic director of the traditional song dance group Karin, a devoted son of Western Armenia, an honored figure of the culture and of Eastern Armenia. The students were also joined by representatives of the professional and the administrative staff led by the rector of the University of Georgia, Sir Anal Banjan. This was all for today. Goodbye.